Hello fellow fractalists! Today I'm going to show you how very simple rules can create um, very complex shapes. And I'll do this by using the example of a fern leaf. The fern leaf is a natural fractal. It is made out of small copies of itself. You can take one part of the leaf and compare it to the big and it pretty much looks the same. And then you can take another smaller part of that leaf and it will again look the same. And then you can take this tiny piece and it will also look the same. But then, well, the resolution of the fern leaf breaks down, so it's not infinite like mathematical fractals, but it still is fractal over four orders of magnitude four smaller, smaller copies. A fern leaf is a very complicated structure. Try drawing it by hand and you will notice. This takes ages. Oh my god. Let's speed this up. Okay, now here's my beautiful hand-drawn fern leaf. That, that, that was an effort. Okay, now one might think that nature's building plan for a fern leaf is also very complicated. But nature prefers simplicity and it doesn't want to waste energy or put too much effort into building something. And it doesn't get much more simple than the building plan for a fern leaf. If you start out right. We'll use this cool website called Doodle. Dude al you can find the link in the description below and try for yourself and doodle is a tool for recursive drawing recursive oh, okay what is recursion what is recursive recursion is characterized by recurrence or repetition yeah repetition like in the fern leaf repeating on smaller smaller scales using recursion involves the repeated application of a rule like in this comic Oh my god, you're eating recursion! Doodle does exactly this. So let's try to build a fern leaf with it. First, we draw a little line. Then we add a frame and this frame creates small copies of our little line. And you can move the frame around and it will change the position of the copies. You can also change the size of the box or rotate it. Or you could just start to build our stem. The next step is to add another frame. And that frame now creates copies of our newly generated stem. And you can see the magic happening already. It's starting to look like a real fern. Let's add another frame. Ooh, nice. A few corrections. Et voila, a beautiful fern leaf. Generated from nothing but this little line and three boxes that create recursive copies. Of course, you can still move these boxes around, which creates different fractal patterns. Just try it out for yourself. I've put the link to Doodle in the description. This also works in three dimensions. For example, with children's favorite food, the broccoli, Romanesco broccoli. And you don't really need a lot to create something like this as well. Here is a computer version of a Romanesco broccoli. And all you need is this input this formula and a computer program to render it, of course. But this is all the input you need to create a digital Romanesco broccoli. Bon appétit! That's it for today. I hope you liked this first video. Um, I'd be very much interested in some input. Maybe you drop me a comment, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Yeah, the usual. Okay, keep on iterating!